Oh my god, this is it. Hey, buddy. Brando, this is it. Hey, buddy. Hello, my fellow snippers, flighters, and newbies. How are you? My name is Marlene McCohen, and welcome to my channel. Today is the big, big day. It is. You guys are about to witness something that you've all been waiting for. I am bringing Brando home. Now, for some of you, this is gonna be the first you heard of it. For my flighters, you're gonna have known about this way in advance, because you get my videos early. If you guys wanna become part of the Flighters Club, the link is below. Here's my dilemma. Emma. George doesn't know. I want to surprise him. And I've been shipping out all of your merchandise today and I ran into some technical difficulty. So I'm meeting him for lunch so he can fix it. But I don't know if I should tell him there in case he can come with me or if I should just kind of like bring the bird home and not tell him and then just like wait till he comes home and act like stuff is normal and then Brando's there because if he can't come with me it's not gonna be as exciting you know what I mean so I'm gonna go meet him now what's up what's up why are you filming me because I feel like it your camera's dirty guys I want to show you what a lunch for us looks like <laughs> what's your schedule for the rest of the day I am going to pick up some stuff your camera is so dirty. Come here. <laughs> I got something for you. Ah, there it goes. You just happen to have that? I happen to have everything. You can keep it. Do you have to go leave straight from here? Yeah. Why? I'm just wondering what kind of time you had. That didn't happen, so we're gonna have to surprise him later. FYI, ignore my lipstick for the rest of the video, okay? You think I'm the type of person to kind of walk around with like lipstick to reapply, but no. Whatever I leave with is what stays the rest of the day, and that's it. I get one shot. Off to see the bird! Oh my god, so much traffic. I just want to be in the bird store already and see Brando. I have an idea. Wow, and it gave me a Starbucks. Dang. Guys, guess what? George went to his clients and they didn't answer. So I was like, come to the bird store. Come see Brando. So he's actually coming. The universe just gives you what you want, you know? He doesn't know we get to take Brando home today. Is he coming home with us? <laughs> he is? I don't want to say it. Wait, we're taking him home? When do you think we could get Brando? Like really, you want me to spoil it today? That's Are we getting him today? To you is that what you did? Like you basically told me to come over here because you're gonna pick him up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What else would you wanna be told? To I come didn't here? know. I had no idea. <laughs> so we're getting him today. Okay. <laughs> Good. Are you excited? Yeah. So the first 24 hours, when you guys take them home, you guys set up the cage, you put them in there, don't take them out for the first time. Okay, can you explain that? Because I always take out my birds right away, so I want to know yeah, your logic. So he's a baby, okay. he has to adjust to your house, look at his surroundings, make sure nothing here is going to you know, try to harm or things like that. They look around, be able to find his food in his new cage, because it's going to be different than me. And to make him feel comfortable, you know? So you're saying, like, he has to stay in the cage because you want him to learn where his food is? And also, adjust to your house, too. You what look happens, at his surroundings. What happens if we took him out of the cage? Sometimes, first of all, problems eating. He could drop weight, you know, because you didn't give him time to, you know, make sure. He knows what everything is. Second of all, misbehaving. That he could be like, you didn't even time to, to settle and didn't even time to look around, you know, make sure nothing is trying to hurt him. So what happens is when you open the door, if you open the door right away and put your hand in there, he tries to bite you because he doesn't want to get out. He might be afraid of a couch, a picture in the wall that you didn't give him time to look at. You know what I'm saying? So in the first 24 hours, he's gonna look around, okay, what's that, what's that? Everything is new, okay, that's not trying to hurt me, it's okay, that's not trying to hurt me, that's okay, you get it? Okay, that's what I understand, do. what you're saying is, like for example, Vinny is terrified of ladders, but once I put a ladder in the hallway and left it alone, he knew it wasn't gonna get at him, so he stood on the ladder. So you're saying the baby needs time to evaluate that nothing is moving around exactly. him. Exactly. You know, it could move, but and if nothing I is move trying to him, hurt. then he doesn't have time to yeah. to analyze that. Yeah. But a rescue bird already realizes you know, that the walls it's, don't move. It's and not so, a baby. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But this guy, remember when he got here, he was so little. His eyes were closed. 
he doesn't know what's out there outside this place. You're gonna, he's gonna, it's a whole new world for you know to him. After that, because he's a baby and like a human kid, he'd rather be with you and play than eating. Okay. He could be with you all day and starve himself to death and not eat his food if you guys don't put him to it. And yeah. how do you do that? For the first like 10 days in your house, for every half an hour that he's with you, or out of the cage, or playing with you, you, need, you guys need to put him back on the cage two hours with the dog. Okay? Every half an he hour, just for the next 10 days. Because you need to put, that's how you're gonna make him. Every half hour. Every half hour hours. with you, he has to go back two hours in the cage. Time doesn't add up. Doesn't mean that we were working all day, we were out all day. So we were out eight hours. Let's take him out hour and a half. No. You know, if you guys have time to do every half an hour whenever you okay. can, but if you guys are busy, you know, all, all he gets is one half an hour before eight o'clock. That's his bedtime, okay? As a baby, for like at least a month, 8, 8 p.m. he should call. Okay. Okay. So if you guys like are busy and you only get one half an hour, that's okay. For his first 10 days, it's very important. It's only 10 days. You know, after that, you leave the door open, he'll go and come and eat when he wants to. You know, but as a baby, the first 10 days, you will like that, all right? Okay. And then you have to bring him, we're gonna weigh him for you. You have to bring him next week and we'll weigh him to make sure that he hasn't dropped anyway. He, ha he hasn't been eating baby formula for the last you five mean days. He's been eating by eating himself. By himself. You know, what, that actually brings up a good point because our first cockatiel was obviously a baby. Not a baby like as a baby. It was already eating on his own. When we brought him home, my dad noticed, we're kids, we're like seven years old, my dad noticed he wasn't eating on his own. So my dad had to hand feed him. Lucky my dad noticed that, but my dad like hand fed him and that's probably why. We probably gave him so much attention that he didn't eat. Yeah. Very, very and so my there. dad had a hand feed him again because he wasn't like 100% ready. This is strictly advice for baby birds. Baby birds only. Yeah. It's like a rescue bird. He doesn't apply. He's already grown. Yeah. He knows what things yeah. are about a baby. Because I always advocate get the bird out right away. So yeah. but I haven't had a baby bird. Oh yeah, nobody's going against it. It's a baby. It's different. Okay. You know, same thing like you know how the cage. You know, you know, oh, it's you know the bird should be out of the cage whenever you're home, you know, or only, the case should be only a sleeping purposes or when you are not home. Exactly. You know, that's it. <laughs> yeah. But it's a baby's different because he won't eat. They won't eat. They're kidding you. If he, was, if, he, if he could be with you all day, with you guys, he'll go all day and he will never eat. You have to make him eat. Same thing like a kid when he's having fun. A little kid when he's having fun and doesn't want to have lunch and screw dinner, same thing, you know? You have to make him stop him and make him eat. That's how you're going to do it with this man. Do you love birds? Of course. What do you think? <laughs> I love all animals. What do you have? You got three more mustache parakeets? Yeah. And they're babies? But I can't even take them out because they're so babies. They're in the internet. Like they have no feathers? No, nothing. But how do you know their mustaches and not ringnecks? Oh, cause Don knows, you know, she knows. I, I, I thought they were ringnecks when I saw them. Oh my God. I was like, we don't know the colors and we have ringnecks yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, so if anyone's looking for a brand though. We have them. Okay. Marilyn, Marilyn Sanchez. 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 Mar are it's been a, a long journey, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we first came in and bought all that food and milk yeah. and all that? This is it. Can we post it on Brandon? Take okay, care, Brandon. When do we come in? So nice. bring him, when do we bring him for the wing? Monday. Next Monday. Next week. Okay. Yes. Sounds good. Week. Brando. Oh. Oh, we're taking him home. I know. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, <laughs> he's peeking out. Hello, buddy. Stay at home, buddy, okay? What should we do? We gotta take him upstairs to sleep in our room so he won't be disturbed by noise. Yeah. We also have to watch the cage. Yeah. Okay, let's get to it. Well, we won't be introducing him to any birds today. Obviously, he's gonna be in quarantine anyway. George is gonna go pressure wash the cage. I get to kiss him while he gets his cage set up.
You know what I thought? If Brando's a female, imagine if Picasso came back and then Picasso like had like a girlfriend or something, you know? Like, I don't know, weird things have happened. Like the universe cares about all its creatures. Maybe Picasso really needed like a mate and this was the way it happened for Picasso. You never know. And for those of you asking me if I'll change his name, no, because if he is a she, a Brando was Marlon Brando's last name not necessarily like a boy or a girl's name. It sounds very much like a, a male name, but you know, there's lots of females named male things. If Brando had a sister. I don't know if he does or anything, but if he did, her last name would be Brando too. I'm sure Brando's mom's last name was Brando. Or maybe I don't know enough about Brando and maybe that was a stage name. We gotta know some more about Brando, Brando. What do you think? When I was on the phone today with Dawn, one of the store owners, she was like, so sweet. She was like, thank you for all the excitement that's come into the store. And we really just wanna show you that we appreciate you. So there's something I wanna tell you guys. You saw me flight training Brando in a video. And then we came back and Brando's wings were clipped. Wasn't a decision on my part. The store did it. I didn't know they were gonna do it. Somebody had noticed that and said, why did you clip the bird's wings? And, and I didn't. Most importantly, it, what's done is done. I'm not going to make anyone feel bad or blame or anything like that. For me, relationships are extremely important. Important. Would I have liked Branto to have been flighted? Absolutely. I have no reason to clip a baby bird's wings. This is what happened and I just want to address it because I know a lot of you will ask. I did speak to the store about it. Actually, she brought it up because she noticed that someone wrote about it on Instagram. And you know, she she said, you know, we're sorry we didn't know. And uh, you know, we try to keep the birds safe within the store. And if you guys get anything from me like at all, it's that things happen and when you can't change them, you don't attack people. You have to realize like appreciate what good has come of some things and uh, other things can be a little Unfortunate, but Brando's wings will grow back and we will have a flighted Brando and he will be confident Just like my other birds and just like Picasso was and that's the story And I guess the main thing I really want you guys to get out of it is how to handle relationships It's very important that you approach everything with class and integrity You just have to understand other people's sides because in this world, I know like there's a lot of impassioned parrot people, myself included, but I never like impose my views on anyone without seeing like, why did they do a certain thing? Because I'm open to hearing everyone's side. I don't know if that's the actor in me. I don't know if that's the diplomat in me, but it's gotta be that way. And you have to like be able to put yourself in people's shoes and just see what it is. Just inquire, be educated because you just don't know until you walk in somebody else's shoes. But I didn't think I would have a baby bird honestly and it happened and I don't think I'll regret it because anything that I do at this point is an opportunity for me to teach and show you guys and if you guys learn something and learn how to have a better life for your parrots because of me honestly the only other bird I want now is Picasso that would be the most beautiful gift I could ever have in this entire world if anyone brought me Picasso back they would be the hero of my life wouldn't they Brando I'm already in my pajamas waiting for George to get the cage done. Yeah? A towel? Okay. So he needs some stairs. Okay. Yeah, he only has that one little one. Oh, oh. He needs some stuff. Let me look what I have. Hi, baby! I'm gonna come get you. I know. One thing, guys, when you bring home a baby bird or any new bird, obviously I've told you this before, but before you handle any of your birds after touching a bird, you always want to wash your hands. Make sure everything is super clean. You know, disinfect your hands before and after. Just because, you know, baby birds could be susceptible to something, but also your birds could be susceptible to anything that a bird might have had being among all the other baby birds. So I talked to the store owner about, you know, testing the bird for beacon feather disease and she said that they're tested so the bird is okay but you know just you always want to inquire about those things you know you can always check for yourself too so that's just one important thing so we had this little swing but we don't expect him to swing on it yet so that's why we put it close to the perch so that it's stable and we put this right here like Nelly she loves to be storefront property where she can see and then this that he could reach his food this is just a small perch for a small footsie and we put two toys. We'll find out where he sleeps, where he prefers to sleep. Yeah. 
He's gotta go to bed now. And another thing is that we can't change his food yet from what they had. Cause you know, that's what he's used to eating. So he has to eat that. Pooper. His first poop. Okay. It's okay, baby. This is your new stuff, okay? Looking for something to step down on. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Like, when you watch them do this, you see where they naturally might need to step. So that's why I think like this might need to be higher. So you guys, so by watching all this, you get to see like where he falls and where he stumbles and what you might need to add. He's floofing there. That means that that might be where he feels comfortable. That's not covering up. His cage has that thing on top. I'm just curious, like, how is he reacting to the cover? Is he still in the same spot? Oh, he's moving. Yeah. Okay, that's Guys, I hope you enjoyed us bringing Brando home. I wanna thank you guys for being on this long, long journey with us. I love you guys so much. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to check out all my links below. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. I love you guys so, so much. What a creeper. I love you guys too. <laughs> Remember, if you wanna become part of my Flighters Club and get videos earlier, come join my Patreon, get some VIP status. Remember, my Flighters Club knew about this before everybody else. So if you just can't wait to know what's going on, that's where it's at. And of course, guys, check out my new bird food, link below. I love you guys. Bye. understands that there's a bird there and she's interested. What's that? Are you curious? Somebody's in there. Somebody's in there. Somebody new for you to meet. Are you interested? Maybe I'll show you tomorrow, okay?